get it, man, I swear that she can get it, say it guys welcome back to the video brought to you guys monaco tv and that's on what period period poo if you are new here my name is simona cole i do videos on locks health trial videos and unboxing hauls fashion anything related to designer items i'm on it and if you're interested in those type of videos if you're interested in those things make sure you hit subscribe the bell that way you are notified whenever i have new videos so in today's video, I'll be taking you guys with me to a couple of restaurants. This is more of like a foodies, a foodies video. Someone who likes to eat, someone who likes to go on outings with family members. Not only am I taking you guys to restaurants, on the occasion I'm taking you guys on to restaurants is going to be Mother's Day weekend, my birthday weekend, and I think that was it. I don't know what else I'm going to add to this video, I'm not sure. So to start the video, my mom and my sister and I went to this restaurant called friends and it's a newer restaurant in Valdosta it wasn't there like 10 years ago five years ago I don't think and it was something different we wanted to try because we've never been there before and it was like the new thing to do in Valdosta now if anybody that is not familiar with Valdosta it's a very small town very much into football the athletics run the town they have a college of an air force base but it's very much giving country giving country but um the the situation not the situation but the restaurant was actually it was pretty decent it was pretty decent so anybody who's in Valdosta I would recommend you go the food is really good the drinks was really good um my mom seemed to enjoy it which I was surprised because this is not really her type of thing like her style of choice but because it was Mother's Day weekend we were like let's do something different let's try something different it wouldn't be top choice you know if we were in Atlanta I would prefer to go to a black owned business but this was actually a great surprise you know it was actually a good time so go ahead and some clips of that so you guys can see the food see the environment and yeah maybe if you ever get a chance to go let me know below if you have been before let me know too Made in the shade and the down south is what Ebony's gonna get back down south and I'm gonna get the made in the shade. Love some rum and she definitely gonna love her some whiskey. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. Nice and warm. It's okay. The food at Friends was very, 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 very good. Like everything was up to par when it comes to the seasoning, the taste. The only downside about the experience I want to say was the wait. It didn't seem like it was super busy in my opinion, but it just took a while for us to get our food, which was, you know, it was hot when we, when we received it. So at least it wasn't like sitting out waiting forever. But the food was good. The proportion, the portion size were good in my opinion. I ordered, I had, I had salmon and then I had one side to come with it, but I wish it came with two sides. So you could order a separate side if you wanted to, but it would be an upcharge of course. My mom had like, I think some type of a fried something. I can't remember what it was. But everything tasted really good. Everything tasted so good. So I gave it a thumbs up. Friends was actually a really good, nice place to eat. Definitely if you're just chilling, hanging out with your friends, you would go there and have a good time. Especially sitting outside, it felt nice and breezy, not too hot. So yeah. My sister ordered, I think, chicken with some toppings on it. My, I believe my sister ordered some chicken with toppings on it and Brussels sprouts. So yeah, her Brussels sprouts are actually really good. I have never had Brussels sprouts seasoned so well. It was like a barbecue cheese Brussels sprouts. It was so good. If someone that you know don't like Brussels sprouts, this will change their mind. I promise you, this will change their opinion. We had appetizers as well. It was like ribs appetizers, but I didn't taste any of that because I don't eat ribs. But it looked really good and it looked very juicy and tender and it was just falling off the bone. Now the next place I went to was kind of like a going away dinner my mom and I did. And like a pre-birthday 
celebration for me and it's Olive Garden. I love an Olive Garden. I'm an Olive Garden girl. I love Olive Garden dates my mama. That's kind of like the only time I ever go there is with my mom. I don't know. We started this, I want to say a year ago, but whenever we want to go do something and not like spend too much money, but you know, have a good time, a nice vibe, Olive Garden is where we go. And we had some spinach dip. We had some, um, they had breadstick, which were, they were straight. I got the wine that I always like. It's like birthday cake or confetti wine. I don't know. I'm not sure if they offer that at other locations, like outside of Olive Garden chain, but I know that confetti wine, it was so good. It's sweet and I love me a sweet wine. There is nothing that I ever have to complain about when it comes to Olive Garden. The service is always really good. The waitress and waiters are always really nice. It's quick service. Um, they always give you what you need whenever you need to ask something. It's never like taking forever to get to you. It, they instantly bring it out. So yeah, I love me Olive Garden, child. I really do. And I had this soup. I never had a soup from them before. It was like a chicken dumpling soup. I just love dumpling. I think that's what it is. I just love that doughy, soft texture when it comes to eating my chicken and soup together it just tastes so good so good to me so another place that i went to it was my boyfriend we went to a place called bahama breeze it gives caribbean it gives soul food it gives a fusion of both it gives island it gives um hispanic culture it, to me it gives all those things bahama breeze is like being on vacation but not on vacation that's what the vibe of the restaurant is and the food is always so amazing we ordered um these pineapple drinks it was like um it had definitely had alcohol in it it had some rum in it it had pineapples in it of course and it was so good it was like sweet but not too sweet but the alcohol was definitely hitting it was definitely hitting um I'm trying to get an instagram pic or you know snapchat tiktok real these are some cute drinks to have at Bahama Breeze. I ordered these um, shrimp, was like cocoa shrimp or something. I think it was cocoa shrimp tacos and they were huge. You could either get two or three and I got three thinking it was not going to be big. But girl, I was, I was being so greedy by ordering three of them and I didn't even finish them. So I ordered three big old tacos and I had, um, what was it? Guacamole. Guacamole was so good it was the best guacamole i've had in so long usually when you go get guacamole from certain places they don't make it they don't make it good they don't do a good job making it because that's just not their expertise or they don't have the fresh guacamole or it's not ripe enough so they just throw you whatever they have basically like they it's like they don't know what they're doing in the kitchen but with bahama breeze the guacamole was perfect it was so good my boyfriend had sliders, the sliders look really good. I think he also had wings too, the wings look really good. I think I did have some of the wings, they tasted really good. My boyfriend had um, sliders, the sliders look really good. He said they were juicy, they tasted good. And he also had like this dish that had half a pineapple with the rice in it. So it was like a mixture of different things with rice inside the pineapple and it smelled so good. And I believe I did taste it. Everything from Mama Breeze was, was 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 so good um i also had a side of fruit with my meal and the fruit came with sorbet it was like mango sorbet and it tasted amazing like when i tell y'all it was super hot this day we were in florida it was super hot this day so everything we had was so refreshing and filling it was a great dinner a great lunch and mind you all of this is like basically for my birthday so i was eating out a bunch i love food food is the way to my heart to be honest that's one of the ways that's one of my love languages so that's what i was doing majority of my birthday week was just eating out with family that's what i was doing <laughs> i was also supposed to go eat with my dad but i wasn't feeling well that day so i didn't go but you know next time next time we would probably got some crab legs or some oysters he's the reason why i love oysters i love oysters grilled oysters with the toppings on it yum 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 on a salt and cracker yum 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 but yeah shout out to you dad didn't get dessert, we were too full. I'm not really a big dessert person anyway, so most places that I went to to eat with my family and my boyfriend, I didn't 
get dessert. I'm not really a big dessert person. Most of the time when I do get dessert from restaurants, it don't be that great. For some reason, it's not that great. I have to go to like a dessert place, like a place specifically for dessert, or just have dessert at home because it don't hit the same for some reason. Let me know how y'all feel about desserts at restaurants. Do it hit for y'all or just be mediocre? And then last but not least, the last restaurant that I went to was my boyfriend's mom. Shout out to you, Miss Pranda. Um, we went to this place called Fancy Shoes. Fan I can't talk. We went to this place called Fancy Sushi, and I've been there before, but I never ordered what I ordered. So we went to get actual sushi, y'all. And this was my first time ever having raw sushi, like raw fish. And when I tell y'all, it was amazing. Like I'm gonna start taking myself on sushi sushi dates now. That's how good it was. We had white fish, we had salmon, we had tuna. It was all on a bed of rice. And then I also had the California roll, which is my favorite. I love shrimp tempura also. Those are the two, two, those are the two rolls I will always get when I do go to get any type of um, seafood or sushi at those kind of restaurants. It's like just rolls. I'll get California roll and shrimp tempura roll. But honey, getting the sushi, the raw fish, like it just melted in my mouth. I tell y'all it melted it was so good it was so tasty even dipping in the soy sauce with the mixture of the wasabi which is what miss prana taught me it was so good it was so it was amazing it was amazing and she never has anybody to go with because nobody wants to eat it and my boyfriend is allergic to seafood so i'm glad that we could do that together i'm ready i'm ready anytime she's ready i'm ready to go it was so good it was my blow i'm like why have i never ate this before why have i never tried this before i always go to these restaurants and never get the raw fish or the raw sushi am i saying that right i don't know y'all let me know but y'all need to try it i know it might not look the best it might not look like you should be eating it but i felt fine that day and the next day nothing happened to me and you also have to make sure you go to the right restaurant because not everybody does it the same we all know that not everybody knows what they're doing not everybody know what they're doing and that's that's period it's on period but that was such an amazing meal Whew. i want some more i want some more and then the presentation was so cute too like i'm gonna show y'all clips of that as well i'm gonna show y'all clips of everything of where i want i make sure i record it that way i can have footage to show you guys so you guys can know based off of my experience and then hopefully you have also you also have a great experience when you go so about this video i'm gonna end it with um opening up my gift for my boyfriend that he gave me for my birthday so i'll go ahead and insert that clip right here all right so i just got back from getting waxed and i feel so much better so refreshed i feel like a newborn baby if i knew what that really felt like i already remember those days but i feel so clean so nice and just so you just have to know to know but um it was a lot because it's been a while like i told y'all i think i told y'all it's been about since december 2021 and the wax girl she was so sweet i took her 20 dollars because she did a really good job and she the experience was great like she didn't make me feel like i was acting crazy for jumping all over the place and like grabbing her and i kept saying i'm sorry for touching you i'm sorry for touching you she's like it's okay but she was like girl you got me here sweating because she was working she was working hard she had to put some work in but i'm gonna open up my gift my boyfriend and i wanted to um show you guys what i got so i'm opening it up with you to share with you on my channel so let's see what you got me i can't believe i need to charge this. okay you guys i'm about to open it up now here's the box <laughs> don't have a lot of battery left i don't know i can't see so let's go ahead and get it open Okay, we got some paperwork. Don't care about that. It says, oh, this is Versace, you guys. It's Versace on. <laughs> it says, Happy birthday, Simone. I will take the stars out of the sky for you. There is nothing in this world that I would not do. Love you always. <laughs> that is so precious. I've never received anything like this before. Not from Versace. <laughs> My boyfriend. <laughs> Let's see. I should have probably had some type of a knife or something. Okay, guys. Can y'all see everything? There's a shipping label. And here's the paper. Oh, there's a Versace head. Medusa head on it. Oh, this box is so pretty. The boxes are pretty. Y'all see the head? 
This box is so pretty. It's upside down. Dang. It's big. Look at that. It's so pretty and big. So it's Versace and there's ribbon. The Versace ribbon design. Y'all look at the box. So nice. Oh, it's stretchy. That's better than Louis Vuitton, I feel, because they have a ribbon Louis Vuitton. This is stretchy. I like that. I can wear this as a headband. <laughs> I can wear this as a headband. Let's see what it is. <gasps> and you got the pink one. It's so cute. It's so cute. You got the pink one. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Y'all see it? Y'all see me? Thank you. Thank you. I love it. I love it. Mm. I love it so much. And this is the waist. The waist piece. Yes, it is. This is so nice, baby. Thank you. Thank you so much. How'd you know to get the pink one? How'd you know? You just knew. You just knew. It was either going to be pink. Or black, right? But you ain't know. But you knew. You knew. You figured it out. And look, it go with my nails. It go with my nails. My toes. Can't see my toes. <laughs> this is so cute. I love it. This is so cute. Y'all see the details? Y'all see the details? This is so cute. Look at the material. So the letters are like, it comes up a little bit. And it's the same inside and on the outside. This is nice. This is very nice, honey. I'm gonna look real nice in my Miami condo. I'm gonna look real nice. I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, my camera's about to die too. So that is gonna be the end of this portion of my unboxing from my, my boyfriend, my present. So cute, I love it. And it's long enough. It's tall girl friendly for those out there who are wondering about the Versace robe. It's definitely long enough. It goes past my wrist, so that's nice. People who have long arms and long legs. But yeah, see you guys later, bye. And that is the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye. I love you.